Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan taking emergency action today, authorizing new contracts to continue the city's paratransit services. A decision by City Council last month left the service in jeopardy, putting those with disabilities at risk. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Grimmer breaks down the details of the new contracts. The paratransit buses are contracted out, some of them from places like this, the Rosa Parks Transit Center. Now, as the war over these contracts has been raging the last couple of months, it's people like Stephen who have been suffering. The last couple of weeks of unnecessary terror that the community felt, and I don't think terror is too strong a word. Stephen Hanshu of Detroit tells me that he's been blind since birth and has been relying on Detroit's paratransit services, transportation for those with disabilities, for the last six years. The major use of paratransit is medical. People going to dialysis appointments, going to other appointments, the lack of which could threaten their lives. He says that's why there's been such a big scare in the community this last month at the possibility of losing Detroit's paratransit services. The scare started in November when City Council voted down a contract that would extend paratransit services for five years through France-based provider Transdev. Transdev provides 70% of paratransit services in Detroit, so by voting that contract down, 70% of paratransit rides would go away for months while council worked to find new contracts. People were literally calling me up and saying to me, I might have to choose between going to dialysis and eating. Now, city council officials say they voted down the contract because Transdev is known to provide very poor service. I could go on with the horror stories. But failing to provide so many paratransit services violates federal law, and Mayor Mike Duggan has outspokenly criticized the choice this month, even calling city council dysfunctional in the way that they handled the contracts. The whole dispute has caused a lot of turmoil. But at Thursday's press conference, the turmoil was put to an end as Duggan announced that he is putting out an emergency contract that will continue paratransit services through four temporary new contracts with four new transit providers. There will be full operations, a uh, thousand rides a day, continuously uh, for the next six months, and that gives us time to put a permanent plan in place. The emergency contract will cost $5.8 million. Duggan said it's about $1 million more than what the city council transdev contract would have cost. And he promises that the new providers will be overseen by DDOT, offering much better service. If we can believe uh, what the mayor is saying, then we're very glad to have that happen. Reporting in Detroit, Sarah Gummer for 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Sarah.